So, okay. Welcome everyone. We're sitting here with USA Today best-selling book author Lily Merrin. Uh, interestingly, we're sitting in her home wanting to talk about her lovely new book, Home Sweet Home. So I'm really excited to be able to sit here with you, Lily. It's so good to talk to you. Thank, Thank you, you for you. giving us this time. Yeah. Um, it's so exciting for your readers to get a little bit of insight into who you are and the heart of what you do and uh, learn a little bit more about the book and how it came to be. Um, so Home Sweet Home is the beginning of a new series, is that right? That's correct, yeah. It's a Home Sweet Home series and uh, they're women's fiction reads Great. and this one's quite an emotional read. So okay. um, it's, a, it's a, an adventure of going home after yeah. being away for many years. Wow. That's um, a little bit of a theme through some of your books, isn't it? Some of your avid readers will notice there's a bit of a, a theme there with that heading away from the big city back to home, isn't it? You, you like that? Theme. Yeah, that's true. Um, I do have quite a few themes that I revisit over and over in books that mm -hmm. are really, uh, that are meaningful to me, I suppose. Sure. Um, and so for me, this book's set in my hometown. Okay. So that's one of the nods in the, the title, Beautiful. Home Sweet Home. And um, I grew up in Mwilimba, which is a little country town in northern New South mm -hmm. Wales. Um, and so... I think there's a bit of romanticism about the idea mm -hmm. of when you've grown up in the country, a lot of kids in Australia, when they um, graduate high school, they move to the city. Sure. And so then there's always this romantic idea of moving back home to mm -hmm. the country town or the beachside town and, mm -hmm. and um, simplifying your life and, yeah. and changing course and that sort of thing. Yeah, absolutely. So was that the whole inspiration behind this book or was there other inspiration that that moved you to write this particular story? I'm not sure, like, exactly when I started out, I don't think that was exactly what I was going for. There, there's, it's certainly something I think that's part of the Australian psyche. Mm -hmm. is, um, we even have a word for it in Australia that no one else uses, and that's sea change. So, True, yeah. Um, in Australia. Even a show yeah, based around the concept. Exactly. So um, other countries don't use that term. Right, okay. And um, it's because in Australia a lot of our little towns are beachside towns. Mm. And so this idea of leaving the city and the rat race to move to a little beachside town and we have a word for it, you're, you're having a sea change, mm. um, that then led into another word, a tree change. Right, so, of course. So um, yeah. this is more of a tree change kind of mm. book where Mwilimba is a country town that's set... Um, in a valley, it's in the Tweed Valley along the Tweed River, and um, it's surrounded by mountains with rainforests, and it's very green Beautiful. and lush with lots of rolling green hills and oh. cattle grazing and all that oh, sort of thing. Gorgeous. Yeah, so um, I did want to explore the theme of going home, and then all the other things that sort of got woven into the book just happened along the way. Okay, mm. is that commonplace with your stories? Do you kind of literally make it up as you go along or do you start with a really clear plan of what you want to write? I usually have a very clear plan okay. but then things happen along the way yeah. that surprise me um, and that's what sort of happened in this book. I won't I won't give anything away but sure. there's one of the storylines that, that enters into um, the book and I was sort of surprised by it and just went with it and it ends up being one of the main storylines in Great. the book. Uh, and that wasn't planned, so okay. it, it happened, and it's quite an emotional storyline. Anyone who's yeah. read the book will probably know what I'm talking about. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a the storyline that centres around loss, and mm -hmm. um, that just kind of happened. It just wove its mm -hmm. way into the story, mm -hmm. and um, I wasn't expecting that. So it was wow. quite a journey. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I, from what I understand, from what I've noticed, there's a, a bit of a, a theme there as well. You're not afraid to kind of deal with some of those deep heart topics is mm. that um just something you're really passionate about or is that again is that just a coincidental thing that happens while you write it does find its way into my books but it is something i'm also passionate about mm. uh, i have always found that my books tend to have inner healing as part of the mm. the journey of the mm. characters yeah. so often they start out in a place where something bad has happened or mm. something uh, difficult that they go through or they've experienced some sort of loss uh, something they've had to navigate in life mm -hmm. and then um, as they go through the book it's it's sort of a healing journey along yeah. the way 
that's not the whole storyline, but it's it's a side storyline as they go through the book, they mm. find healing. And in this particular book, it's really quite central to mm. the plot. Um, is It's all about a woman called Trina who's around mm. about my age, who happens to go home to my hometown. Wow. <laughs> um, and so uh, that was quite inspiring for me yeah. to sort of explore what might happen in this situation. Mm. If this happened... How would you deal with it? What would sure. what would it look like? And as she goes through the book, she finds meaning again. She finds purpose again. She um, gets that healing from the past loss and trauma that she's experienced and starts her life again. Wow. So did you find writing about somewhere that you knew so intimately? So I know um, we've talked many times about the books that, that you're writing and um, there's there's so much rich kind of heritage that that makes it possible for readers all around the world to really Im- immerse themselves in your stories. Did you find it easier to write about somewhere that you knew really well? Did that did that add to the ease of writing the book, or did the fact that you knew about it so well kind of make it hard to be creative? I think it certainly made it easier for me because I could picture it all in my mm. mind and sure. I knew. You know, the, there's a couple of scenes in there where Trina is younger and at the beginning of the book and she's in high school. Well, I went to that high school. Wow. So, you know, I can describe what happened yeah. um, fairly well. And so it was fun for me because mm-hmm. it was a journey back in my own memories. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's, I talk about the Austral Cafe, which is a real cafe that existed then and still and does. Famous. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, for real. And um, the charcoal chicken that had the best um, <laughs> potato gems and gravy. So good. So good. <laughs> Such the, an Aussie icon, <laughs> potato gems. Yeah. So good. And uh, the Sunnyside Mall, which was built mm. in Mwilumba when I was a kid. Wow. We were very excited because before <laughs> that there was no shopping centre at all. The mall, finally. There's, no, there's still no traffic lights, so it's a wow. pretty small town. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. So uh, we having a an air-conditioned shopping centre built was Amazing. quite the event. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Now, Trina obviously is an important character in the book. Was she your favourite character or were there other characters that you were really in love with? Mm, I do like Trina, but I, I don't know. I like Lisa as well, who's her best yeah. friend, because she kind of takes everything Trina throws her way with a smile and a, mm-hmm. and a funny joke. Yeah. She's she's really fun, and she she was always there for Trina when she was going through the hard things. She was a really good friend, and but I, I don't know. Possibly her mum is my favourite. Okay. And now her mum's kind of the antagonist. Trina's mum. Trina's yeah. mum, who's Anthea. Yeah. Her mum's kind of the antagonist in the book as well. Okay. So, but it's really fun watching her journey as yeah. also and for their sure. their relationship yeah. throughout the book. Yeah. That was one of the things that just kind of came together as I was writing it mm. and. And they really explore the healing of their relationships as well. So it's Anthea's fun. She's definitely not what you would expect okay. from a mum. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. I love that. So obviously uh, this is the first of a, a trilogy. Is that right? Or is it a longer series? This uh, time? I haven't decided how long it's going to be yet. Ooh, could be many. But I do have exciting. three planned at okay. this stage. So okay. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so can you give us a hint of the direction this series will take? Yeah, so the next book is going to be about Lisa, who's the best friend, and she is uh, in her 40s and single, and she is trying to figure out what is my life going to look like now. Right. I, it's not kind of how I planned originally uh-huh. for it to look, and I need to figure out where I'm going now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So plenty of us can relate. <laughs> Absolutely. And so... Writing it takes up a lot of your time. It's obviously your full-time vocation. Um, do you have anything exciting on the agenda besides writing that you're kind of wanting to explore in, in life? Or, Well, uh, we actually, the family, we just took a trip around a large part of Australia in a caravan. So, so that was really fun. And we've been planning uh, a fa- an extended family trip for a while. Yeah. Um, and we went around the Northern Territory and around Queensland, and so definitely got some inspiration for yeah, future books yeah, there. Um, sure. And do you take notes everywhere you go? I did. I search? jotted yeah. things down, and I actually wrote "Home Sweet Home" yeah. while we were on the road. On the road. So, wow! <laughs> yeah. So it was really birthed yeah. in 
the country. That's amazing. And while we were away from home. Yeah. And so. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> it's funny that that's what it ended up being. But yeah. Um, yeah. So as far as the future, otherwise we actually have, uh, uh, I've got three kids and the eldest is going into high school. Wow. So Something. that's kind of. Yeah. what we're focused yeah. on for a yeah. while now is Absolutely. we wanted to have some time away as a family mm. uh, before everyone ended up in high school yeah, and we're right. sort of stuck right <laughs> yeah no i'm sure that will take a lot of your energy no doubt but um we are so excited to see the rest of your books unfold as they do um and thank you for taking this time to sit and chat with everybody i'm thank no you. doubt your readers were thrilled to get a little peek into your life and, and who you are so yeah thanks so much lily thank you no worries yeah.